Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2024, the solution video to paper one, question three. So question three is our first calculus question. And we're asked in part A to find the integral uh, cos 6x dx. So if we're integrating a trig function, cos becomes sine. So it's sine 6x. And then you multiply by 1 over 6. So six 1 over 6 out in front and it's indefinite integration so don't forget about your plus c so that's a nice easy five marks part b the function f is thus defined as f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 5x minus 11 find the equation of the tangent to the graph of f at the point where x is equal to 2 um, and you do not need to simplify your answer. So we're looking for the equation of the tangent here. So equation of the line formula. We need the slope and we need a point. So we can find the point first by doing f of 2. So subbing 2 into our function, you get 2 times 2 cubed minus 9 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 11. That works out to be equal to minus 21. So that gives us our point x, y is equal to 2 minus 21. And I always just like to label that straight away as x1, y1, so that there's no confusion. Then we need to find a slope. So we're going to go ahead and differentiate this and get f prime of x. So that's equal to 6x squared minus 18x plus and then to find the slope at uh, x equal to 2, we find f prime of 2. So that's equal to 6 by 2 squared minus 18 times 2 plus 5, which works out to be uh, minus 7. So m is equal to minus 7. And then we'll go to our equation of the line formula. So y minus y1, y minus minus 21 is equal to m, which is minus seven times x minus x1. So that is x minus x1 is two. And we can leave it at that because it says you do not need to simplify your answer. So we can just leave the answer as that. And uh, that is worth five marks out of 30. There's a second part to part B here. Find the x-coordinate of the point of inflection of f. So what we do here to find the x-coordinate of the point of inflection of f, we get the second derivative. So we already have the first derivative up here. So we'll do the second derivative. f double prime of x is equal to 12x minus 18. You let that equal to 0. And then you solve for x. So 12x equals 18 x is equal to 3 over 2. So that is the x coordinate of the point of inflection of f. So you can write it down here, 3 over 2. And that's worth 5 marks as well. Now if we go on to part C. Part C, you're given a diagram um, and it shows the curve, y is equal to px, that's this curve here, looks like a quadratic curve, and a line, y equal to lx, here it is, there's the line there, uh, between 0 and 10. There are two values of x in the domain 0 for 10 for which the derivative of px is equal to the derivative of lx. So px is the derivative of px. Use the information in the diagram to estimate these two values of x as accurately as you can. Show your work on the diagram. So, first of all, if we differentiate the line, the derivative will be the slope, and that's just the slope of the line. Again, if we differentiate any point on the curve, you get the slope. So we want the slope of the derivative, the, the derivative, which is the slope of the tangent, of the curve to be parallel to the slope of the tangent to the line. The slope of the tangent to the line is just the same as the slope to the line. So there's two places that happens. We have this here. So we have it here. There's the tangent that's parallel. And up here as well, we have another one where the tangent is parallel. So the two points are here 
and here. Um, so it says do it as accurately as possible. I'm not sure what um, percentage error they're giving you. The answers that they give in the marking scheme are actually 2.2. So it's actually here, 2.2 and 6.8, which is here, 6.8. So it doesn't say on the American scheme how much accuracy they give you. Um, sorry, there, there's the answers there. Um, but it says as accurate as possible. If you got 2.2 and 6.8, you're definitely getting the full marks, which is 15. Um, if you're fairly close, I would imagine, you know, 2.1 or even 2 to 2.4 are probably acceptable. And it's probably 6.6 .6 to, to 7 probably acceptable but i'm not sure because it doesn't say in the marking scheme okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions ask in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video